fans, I'm here with Coach Tom Riley of the Lightning baseball team. Senior Raul Perez Durant was awarded the 2018 preseason player to watch from collegiate baseball and a 2017 second team all CACC honoree. What do you expect him to bring on a daily basis to help this team succeed? Yeah, we're really, uh, really love having Raul around our program. Um, I expect him to bring the same things that he brought last year that he brought in his two years at a junior college. I mean, energy and effort. I mean, Raul's all about those things. I mean, one of the most energetic, fun-loving guys uh, that I know. The guy just loves baseball, loves life, and a really good ball player. Brings some speed, uh, has a little bit of power. Um, such, an, such an improved outfielder this year. Um, you know, just works, works so hard at his craft. And uh, Tiffin University transfer Jay Smith was tabbed the 2018 preseason newcomer to watch by Collegiate Baseball. How would you describe his game and in what ways has he already made an Im media impact? Uh, well, um, Jay is Jay's probably one of the best hitters I've ever coached. He can really swing the bat. I mean, it's definitely his tool, but he brings a lot more than that. Uh, you know, he's, he's going to play some good defense in the outfield for us as well. He's really bringing some guys along with him and, and, and teaching them how to go about things on a daily basis. And Coach, who are the other returners and newcomers that will make an immediate impact on the Diamond? Yeah, I mean, you know, baseball's a team sport. and We got a lot of guys, um, you know, I mean, quick to mind, uh, Justin Hill, right in the middle of our defense, you know, our shortstop, started every game for us last year as a freshman. He stepped forward this year where last year you know, he was a freshman and was just everything was new. This year he's he's helping guys out. He's he's kind of being that quarterback of the defense that, that we were looking for. Another sophomore, Zach Roseman's gonna be in the middle with him at second base. Uh, Zach can really swing it, kinda uh, you know, solidified our defense in the middle of the year last year. Another sophomore, Tevin Thomas, uh, led our team in hitting last year. Um, you know, he had a injury over the winter that, you know, he's come back from and, you know, we're excited to see him swing it again. Cole Collins uh, is coming back behind the plate. Uh, another sophomore. Um, the leadership that he he provides the team, you know, you know, catching, handling the pitching staff. Um, just a tough, tough kid. Some newcomers that really excite us as well. Um, Andy Salzman uh, is going to share the catching with Cole. Really, really good defensive catcher, and we think he's a guy that can and be a middle of the order bat here for us before not too long. Mitch Guerreri on the mound, a uh, guy that's just so competitive, was a four year shortstop in high school. Now we're making him a full time pitcher. So we got an athletic guy out there that just competes. Jake Heskett, um, guy that just pours in strikes. The local freshman uh, from Mount Pleasant High School, Trevor Jump, has really great stuff on the mound. His future is gonna be really bright here. A guy that we think can, come in you know help us in, in multiple ways with lightning baseball going into its second year of existence what is the toughest part about building a program from scratch and how does the first first year help shape the outlook of the second year um i don't know if i would use the word tough um you know i, I think that everyone has challenges whether it's a first year program or or 50th year program uh you know i think one of the challenges is always you know establishing your culture um and that winning mindset I think that was a big part of what we were, you know, focused on in year one was was that culture, that team mindset, that uh, you know we have a core set of core values uh, that we like to live by: um, strike, S T R I K E, um, selfless, toughless, relentless, integrity, kaizen, and excellence. Um, but we want these guys living by those values every day, and we have a great set of guys and. It's just reinforcing those on a daily basis and that selfless aspect that teammate you know baseball can be a, a selfish game um, you know nobody holds the bat but one guy nobody throws the ball but one guy so you can have a lot of selfishness there and you know teaching these guys to play for their teammates um, was a big part of year one and I think that you know good guys did a great job of, of jumping in and buy, buying into that you know, we're taking 25 guys from 25 different programs rather than just bringing in, you know, 10 or 15 new ones. It was, it was they were all new. So, um, 
it was a challenge, but it's something that, you know, I think was really important and it's something that never ends. I mean, we're continuing to do that in year two. Um, you know, you can see that there's a lot more of a, a team atmosphere this year because guys have familiarity with each other. But, uh, you know, it's nev it never stops. It's, it's all a process of, you know, what we're trying to accomplish every day. And Lightning fans, the first home game of the year will take place on March 3rd against Millersville at Doyle Field. Coach Tom Riley, thank you for your time. Thanks a lot. Come